I hurt myself today to see if I still feel a focus on the pain the only thing that's real the needle takes a hold an old familiar sting try to kill it all the way but I remember every Everything. What have I become? My sweetest friend And everyone I know Goes away in the end And you could have it all my empire of dirt And I will let you down And I will make you hurt I wear this crown of thorns on my life's chair And full of broken thoughts That I cannot repair Beneath the stains of time The feelings disappear And you are someone else I am still right here What have I become? My sweetest friend And everyone I know Goes away in the end And you could have it all my empire And I will let you down And I will make you If I could start again A million miles away I would keep myself I would find a way. As for man, however, we're stuck with the original model. All we can do is add an outer layer of things he does not naturally have. Space medicine showed us where man is vulnerable, and we learned to compensate for most of the weaknesses with technology and careful workmanship. I uh, made boxing gloves before I came here, and the fact is I was an experienced sewer, but I had to learn all over again because uh, it was completely different from what I had sewed before. This was getting right down to a 64th of an inch, and where I had sewed before, you just sewed on a production line, and this here is... Uh, quality more than quantity. Like we always think our job is the hardest. Whatever we're doing, we've got the hardest job. But when they say, well, go over there and maybe do so-and-so, well, you'll find out that job is harder than yours. And then a lot of times we're sewing or making things, and maybe the girl next to you, she's doing the same thing, but we never see the suit put together. One don't know where the, this part goes, or the other one don't know where the other part goes. Like the gloves. If they would give you a glove to sew, you wouldn't know where to start. Well, when they're up there in space, you know what parts you've worked on, and you just say, well, I hope that part don't fail because I'd feel it was my fault if it did. My sentiment is what Hazel said. 
Well, I was just wondering if my pair of gloves was what he had on. Well, if you make a mistake, that, if you don't admit it, you have to think about the astronaut, too. If you make a, uh, like a needle hole in the bladder or something like that, well, if you don't admit that, that would be on your conscience all the time, seems to me. Because I remember Armstrong and all them used to come in, and uh, they would look around and see what we were doing. And once in a while they talked to us and signed their all, uh, we'd get them to sign their autograph. Some of them were real comical. <laughs> we got a kick out of them. It could honestly be said that this was the culmination of the dreams and fantasies of men and women over 25 centuries of recorded time. If they would give you a glove to sew, you wouldn't know where to start. <laughs>